Hi, it's Jason Robel, and welcome to day one of Good Mood Foods. We are gonna jump deep into how food and nutrition directly influence your mood, emotions, and brain chemistry. There's a lot of great functional benefits of specific foods and key nutrients that I wanna share with you today. You may have heard some things about gut health and how important it is to eat probiotic foods, and I wanna dive into why having a healthy gut is absolutely crucial for your brain health. If you've ever gone with your gut to make a decision in your life or your intuition or you felt butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous, you are likely getting signals from an unexpected source, your second brain. Now, hidden in the walls of your digestive system, this brain in your gut is revolutionizing medicine's understanding of the links between your digestion, mood, health, and even the way you think. Recently, scientists at Johns Hopkins Medicine called this little brain the enteric nervous system, or ENS, and they actually found out that it's not so little. The ENS is two thin layers of more than 100 million nerve cells lining your gastrointestinal tract from your esophagus to your rectum. And this enteric nervous system uses more than 30 different neurotransmitters, just like your brain. And up to 95% of your body's serotonin is actually produced in the bowels. Now, according to the American Psychological Association, gut bacteria both produced and respond to the same neurotransmitters such as GABA, serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, acetylcholine, and melatonin, we'll get into all that later, that your brain uses to regulate your mood and your cognition. So it's clear that the link between your gut and your brain health is pretty irrefutable. Thus, it's important to focus on and remember this connection. So then the question is, well, how can you improve your brain health through gut healing and nourishment? Well, I think the first thing is to reduce your added sugar intake as excess sugar can potentially feed pathogenic bacteria and lead to candida overgrowth in your gut. Now, when I talk about candida and pathogenic bacteria, it basically shows that when you get bloated or you have indigestion or you're feeling moody or cranky or angry, there could be a lot of this pathogenic bacteria that is just kind of taking over your digestive system. So you wanna reduce the sugar in your life so you're not feeding all of that bacteria. And I'm actually gonna be using a lot of monk fruit and some stevia in the recipes in this course because they are both zero glycemic sweeteners, meaning that they don't spike your blood sugar. And both of those sweeteners um, basically have compounds in them called mogracides, which give them their sweetness and actually help to decrease inflammation in the gut and the body. My second tip is to do colonics, also known as colonic hydrotherapy, or enemas, which can help to flush out toxic residues and mucoid plaque from your colon. Now, mucoid plaque is basically the junk and all the things that are stored in your intestines and in your colon and your bowels that can be there from years of maybe not eating the best food and also eating things that may have contained toxic pesticides or herbicides, things that have been stored there for years that you really wanna help flush out of the body. Now, when you do flush out these toxins and mucoid plaque, it allows the nutrients in your food to absorb and assimilate more readily in your digestive tract. My third tip is to incorporate healthy fermented and probiotic rich foods into your diet to flood your gut with healthy, friendly microflora and bacteria. And you can eat things like coconut almond or cashew yogurts, uh, kefir is great, kombucha and jun are awesome beverages, but also regular everyday things like sauerkraut or fermented vegetables are great for that. Now, two sources that are awesome are tempeh and natto. These are both derived from soybeans. In the case of tempeh, it's super high in protein. It's a fermented soybean cake that's native to Indonesia. You can find it at most natural markets, and you can flavor this, and you can use this in marinades and recipes, and you can make it taste like chicken and tuna, and also just use it in casseroles and stir fries. It's a very, very versatile ingredient. Now, natto is something you may not have heard of. This is actually a super fermented soybean that is native to Japanese cuisine. And the benefit of natto is not just helping to put healthy bacteria in your gut, it also contains a potent enzyme called natto kinase. And in research studies in Japan, they've showed that this natto kinase enzyme 
can actually help to eat any kind of congestion or plaque in the heart, which is an incredible benefit in terms of helping to stave off potential heart surgery or complications of heart disease. And now I wanna jump into our first recipe of the course, which is a really delicious and super easy recipe for homemade coconut yogurt that's made with coconut milk, vegan probiotics, sliced fresh figs, apples, stevia, and a bunch of other awesome superfood ingredients. Making coconut yogurt at home is not only really, really easy and simple, but it actually helps to save you a lot of money. If you've gone out and looked at the prices of coconut yogurt or other plant-based fermented yogurts out there, they can be on the pricey side. So this is awesome as a breakfast option. You can make this recipe in large batches and have it keep for many days on hand. So the first thing that you wanna do is get yourself some full fat coconut milk. You wanna make sure that you're getting a nice, rich, full fat coconut milk because it really helps to create the right consistency for this yogurt. And in addition, coconut is rich in something called medium chain triglycerides. These are a great source of energy that comes from the fat in coconut milk that actually bypasses the liver and gives you energy throughout the rest of your day. So later on, we're gonna cover healthy fats in this course, but be rest assured, coconut is one of the healthiest sources of fat that you can eat. So we have one can of full fat coconut milk in a mixing bowl. And all you need to do is take two capsules of probiotics. Now these are actually plant-based vegan probiotics. This is a combination of lactobacillus and bifidum bacteria. These are two of the most friendly beneficial probiotics that you can have to put in your gut. And all you have to do is take the capsules and open them up like this and just spread the probiotics around like this, super easy. And then you just need to give it a quick stir. So the probiotics are not only going to in infuse into the yogurt and make this a really tangy flavor, but what they're going to do is thicken the coconut milk so you get that really awesome, nice, dense yogurt consistency. Now, after you mix in the probiotics, what you wanna do is keep this out at room temperature for at least 24 to 48 hours. So it has a chance to activate and ferment and get to that really nice creamy consistency. But what you wanna do as you're keeping this out is cover it with a breathable towel. You can do a regular kitchen towel like this. If you have cheesecloth or something that's even more breathable, that's fine. But just go ahead and make sure this is out at room temperature. Again, so things have a chance to activate and the cultures have a chance to really do their thing. Now, after about 48 hours, what you're gonna see is a really nice, dense, super creamy yogurt consistency. It's super tangy, super delicious. And at this point, what you can do is you can mix in some other ingredients to enhance the flavor. Two of the things that I really love to add at this point are a little bit of fresh lime juice. You can use lemon juice or whatever acid. It just really helps to create a great flavor because the yogurt's super tangy and a little bit of tartness really helps to create a nice flavor balance. So what you wanna do is just add a little bit of lime juice. And then in terms of sweetening the coconut yogurt, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a big fan of zero glycemic sweeteners like monk fruit, or in this case, stevia. Now stevia is actually derived from a natural leaf, the stevia plant and you can find it in powder form or like this in liquid form. And because it's so sweet, you need to use far less than you would say if you were using a regular table sugar in this recipe. So I'm actually gonna add about 10 drops of stevia here. Because it's so potent, you don't need to add a lot. And it really just gives it a nice sweet taste. And at this point, what I want you to do is just go ahead and mix in the lime juice and the stevia a little bit before we add our toppings. Really, really simple, just a nice quick mix. And at this point, you can add whatever toppings you want. What I have here today is I actually have a, a little bit of lime zest, which I'm gonna put on top like this. I also have some goji berries. Goji berries are one of the greatest sources of antioxidants out there. This is actually a small red berry that is native to the Himalayas and China. 
It is actually high in protein, high in B vitamins, high in trace minerals, and it has a flavor somewhere between, say, a cherry and a cranberry. And all you gotta do is um, soak these for about 10 minutes. They tend to be kind of dense and chewy, but if you soak these for, say, 10 to 15 minutes, they end up having a really nice mouthfeel. So what I like to do is just add a few goji berries on top like this. And also, if we're talking about the first thing we do with any recipe, right, is we eat with our eyes. Before we even smell the recipe, before we even taste the recipe, we're literally taking in the energy and the vibration of the food through our eyes. So I really love this recipe because you have a nice white coconut yogurt, but then we're adding all these really vibrant colors to it as well. So speaking of really high antioxidant foods, these are blueberries. Blueberries are so delicious, so high in antioxidants. And when we talk about antioxidants, which you may have heard that term before, it really talks about a, a potential in food to scavenge toxins and free radicals that we get from the environment. We get it from drinking water. We get it from eating unhealthy food. And before these free radicals have a chance to damage our cells, the antioxidants go in and basically just eradicate them from our system. So we're not um, subject to any oxidative stress in our brain and body. So I'm gonna add a few really beautiful blueberries on top. Super simple, super delicious. Next up, I'm going to add a pinch of raw cacao nibs. Now cacao nibs are the actual raw chocolate bean. When you open up a chocolate pod, you see these bright brown, blue, purple beans that are inside. And the benefit of chocolate, which I'm gonna get into later in the course, is that they are high in magnesium. And magnesium is really important because it regulates so many processes in the body from building strong bones to helping with relaxation and good sleep. And they have a really nice dark kind of smoky flavor, a nutty smoky flavor. So again, just a little bit goes a long way in terms of flavor with this recipe. So a little bit on top like this. Next up for a uh, really digestive benefit. And I talked earlier in this day about mucoid plaque in the digestive system. One of the best natural ways to remove that mucoid plaque from your intestines and your colon, your digestive system is fresh figs. The fiber in fresh figs actually helps to go out and essentially scrape out some of this mucoid plaque from your system. And they're also super sweet and delicious. So we'll add a couple of fresh figs here. And speaking of fiber, we also have some sliced apples here as well. So we'll add a couple of sliced apples. And the cool thing about this is you can actually take the sliced apples and kind of just dip them in the coconut yogurt and eat it that way. So we're also gonna add a tiny pinch of sea salt over the top. Now you might be wondering, well, why am I adding a little bit of sea salt to a coconut yogurt? I'm a big fan of using salt because the minerals in sea salt actually help to unify and bring out all the flavors in your recipe. So you're gonna see me adding salt to not only savory dishes, but sweet dishes as well, because it makes everything taste better. So here we have our finished coconut yogurt, rich in probiotics, in B vitamins, in antioxidants, in magnesium and digestive fiber. This is a really wonderful way to start your day, like I said, as the first thing you're gonna eat for breakfast, or you can make a huge batch of this yogurt so you can take it throughout the week, and it's a super quick snack or lunch option as well. Thank you so much for joining me here on day one. And if you have any questions or want to contribute to the conversation, you can find me in the Commune community. Now, tomorrow for day two, I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into neurotransmitters and brain health and sharing a lot of really cool science with you and showing you how to make my favorite brain boosting smoothie. I'll see you then. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, then I think you'll love this video right here.